Shopping, enamel pins. Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from my hotel room. And uh, this is just a little bonus video. I wanted to throw this up here just, just to get you guys' opinion. Anyone I'm really interested in, in hearing your comments on this one. Um, I uploaded yesterday my video where I visited uh, Bush Gardens, did their Christmas event, Christmas Town, and it was a fun time. We met Santa, we met elves, we rode Iron Gwazi twice, some other roller coasters in the dark. Um, all in all, it was a very, very fun holiday evening. But uh, so I uploaded that. I checked comments this morning and. Um, or yesterday morning, however it goes. And uh, we got a comment here from Dan Ballard, uh, 7405. And uh, Dan says, at 42 minutes and 53 seconds, when Jacob mentions the enamel pin, a UAP flies behind him. So when I'm doing my outro, um, there's something, the, the viewer spotted something flying behind me and I thought this was that's interesting um, I went back I looked at the timestamp I'm like did something fly behind me and something does something does now UAP that's unidentified aerial phenomenon of course um, in my day back when I was uh, younger we referred to that as a UFO an unidentified flying object I guess UAP is kind of the more um, modern term uh for for such an occurrence but yeah you uap uh ufo the same the same thing so i looked at the footage and it's to me it's interesting it's compelling so i wanted to put it out there for you guys to take a look at and tell me what you think of this if you have any explanations any comments any thoughts just let me know let's take a look Enamel pins. Enamel pins. Enamel pins. Enamel pins. Enamel pins. Enamel pins. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Um, you know, I've had um, I've had a fascination with UFOs and aliens since I was a little kid. I always watched the show Sightings on Fox. And, um, you know, I never, I never saw the alien autopsy, but I remember hearing about that. And I thought that was the craziest thing. I thought all the riddles of the universe had been solved. Uh, but yeah, fascinated with just like the alien lore, the, um, you know, the, the possibility that something could be out there. Um, I had one, I don't really call it a UFO sighting. I had one unusual sighting when I was a kid where I was looking up at the sky and I saw something fly over me that like blacked out the stars and there was something seemed low flying I didn't hear any noise and it almost looked like a triangle flew over my head blocking out the stars I think my theory is that maybe it was a stealth bomber of some sort um but yeah that 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 gave me uh that gave me the chills at the time it gave me a really it's like scared feeling inside I remember I remember the one thing when I, when I was obsessed with aliens the uh, the one thing that scared me the most was the Men in Black. I remember seeing an episode of the Men in Black and sightings, and um, you know they would come to your house if you saw aliens. They would basically come to your house and uh, try to convince you to not say anything. Of course, there's a lot more lore that I've learned now about the Men in Black, but back then, my understanding as a kid was: you see an alien, you see a spaceship, they're going to show up your house, they're going to threaten you, and they're scary, they're dangerous, they like they're inhuman. And uh, I remember I went camping in my backyard. I was sitting in a tent, and I was so scared. I didn't want to. I didn't. Want, I wanted to go in the house because I was scared of the men in black. <laughs> They're gonna come and bother me in the tent. So like, since I was scared of the men in black, I was, I was scared to look at the sky. I was scared I would see something, and then I would get in trouble with the men in black. So I was sitting in my tent in my yard, and um, I was too scared to stay out in the tent. But I was too scared to get out into the darkness to go to the house. So I remember feeling. Like, really trapped. Like, I was absolutely trapped by darkness in uh, in the tent. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I, if I caught something unexplained on camera here, I think that's awesome. Um, but, you know, I'm, 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 I, I, I like to keep an open mind towards everything. I keep an open mind that it could be something phenomenal. Also, uh, 
keep in mind that it could be something unphenomenal. So leave leave a comment section. Tell me what you think. Tell me what it looks like. Um, someone who has more knowledge with UAPs or UFOs, please let me know if, if you think that this is something. Um, if anyone was in the Tampa area, if they spotted any uh, UFOs, this would have been um, Friday night. Uh, Friday night, the um, the fifteenth. Friday the fifteenth. Um, yeah, just curious. I know Florida gets a lot of UFO sightings, so there's that. And um, yeah, let me know. Let's look at it a few more times. Enamel pins. Enamel pins. Enamel pins. Enamel pins. Enamel pins. Enamel pins. All right, guys, thank you so much. Just a little extra video here. I'm just curious about what you guys thought. Uh, another video coming out and not too long from now. Um, but uh, until next time, this one's in the bag.